Jordan? Yeah, very disappointed with the performance today. I thought um, the first half especially we weren't where we needed to be. We knew this was going to be a really difficult game. We knew the um, the whole the whole day was going to be tough, really. Uh, obviously, the game and how Luton play, a strong team, and also the emotion around the game. And I don't think we handled that well. Yeah, it's a difficult one to, for me to answer because we've I've obviously tried to answer it previously. Um, we, we've spoke about it internally. We know how important our away form is. You know, to be the team that we need to be or want to be. We have to be consistent in both home and away form. Um, sort of epitomised our away form today's performance, really, because there was there was moments, there was some really good bits, but not enough, and uh, we didn't compete well enough in the first half. I thought we were off on our duels. We were reactive rather than proactive, and ultimately that's cost us the match. Dominic and Emily Ryder. Well, one was an injury, um, and I sort of used that injury and that change to just try and change things tactically and bring on Alex and play a slightly different way um, just to try and give us more control in the game. I'm not sure, I've not spoken to him. Another one that questioned that, but in the desire of your players when you touched on it in the first half, did you feel maybe one a bit more clear? I think I've got to choose my words carefully. I think we have an incredible group, but I was disappointed with the first half performance. I felt we needed more. I think we needed more emotion in our performance. We needed more energy in our performance. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to sort of say any more than that, really. But I think the players felt that as well. I don't, I don't think that was just me. I think we were well aware that we were below our levels. And second half was a lot better, but you know, we couldn't force the goal we needed. And um, that mistake in the first half cost us the match. Not really, Lee, to be honest, because controlling his minutes is something I've wanted to do anyway. So I didn't look at it. It's not. It wasn't a. It wasn't based on his performance. I know it was based on a, a tactical decision. So um, he should have no problems. Um, so young, and we want to control how much football he plays as well. Has he got a good understanding? Yeah, I'm going to sit down and talk to him. Of course, um, it wasn't something I planned to do. It was something that was very much a, sort of an instinctive decision at the moment because I felt we weren't good in the game and we needed to make a change. Um, but there'll be no problems with him, he'll totally understand. In the goal that got choked off, looked very hard. Yeah, it was, it's funny because I quickly went to the monitor and had a, a look and just my gut instinct thought I thought it was onside. Um, <coughs> but obviously that's what VAR is for and they've come up with a different decision. Just on the front row. Eddie, can I just check, what was Jamal's injury? I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Um, yeah, so I can't give you any more clarity on that. Chris, uh, sorry, to Kieran, and then we'll go to Jake. Sorry, I couldn't. Uh, yeah, my emotions now. I'm just bitterly disappointed with with the overall performance, really, and disappointed for our supporters who travelled here, there, and everywhere this season. I mean, the miles they've covered to watch us, and it's we've not given them what they what they want and what we want to give them. It's, it's been it's been a mixed bag, really, away from home, and we have to, we have to change that. So that, that's sort of what I'm living with at the moment. Um, and of course, disappointed because today was an opportunity for us. Uh, you know, in a good position in the league if we won today, and ultimately we've let that slip through our fingers. Yeah, I think. But there's that feeling really with us. Last year there was that feeling that even if we conceded, we'd come back and or potentially come back and we were never out of any game. And this season we haven't had those comebacks. We haven't um, won enough from losing positions. And these are all the hallmarks of a, a really top team. So that's been a concern. I think there have been reasons behind that, um, but I don't want to make excuses. And we can't live in that world. We have to... Uh, we have to change it ourselves with what we have available. Just Jacob to finish this section. You spoke about struggling to deal with the emotion of the day. Could you just expand a bit on how that actually manifested itself and kind of what, how you'd like to see yourself? 
Yeah, it's only based on our performance, really. I mean, the emotion is is all with with Luton and the stadium, and it's it's obviously their home ground. We have to deal with whatever they throw at us and control what we could control, and we we didn't do that well enough, especially in the first half. So we can just we we just have to play the game. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do. We can't play. Um, someone else's match, we just have to play our match and deal with everything that's thrown at us. And as I say, in that first half, we didn't, and we have to take ownership of that. Thanks, Jay. Yeah, sure. And I didn't mean this disrespectfully, Eddie, but some noted that the Newcastle bench obviously were not involved in the minutes of applause in the fourth minute. Was that just because you're too involved in the game at the time? I didn't even know it was happening, to be honest. I had no idea that that was happening. Um, and I was absolutely focused on the game is absolutely no intention to disrespect anybody. We all wish Tom 100% full recovery and my thoughts and prayers are with him. But here to manage a football match and I was very much in that in that moment.